is uh, on the March of Sacramento. And we had been anticipating that Governor Pat Brown was going to join us. And we had just learned that he was not going to be there. He was going to go golfing with Frank Sinatra. So then we decided to bring him to the the march, you know? And so Augie played Governor Brown. I'm the DiGorgio Fruit Corporation. Beto Reyes is the Delano Record. And Felipe Cantu's Bank of America. Again, this is an indoor presentation, uh, which tells me that uh, it was just before Sacramento. The first place where we performed this whole thing was on a flatbed truck in Thornton. So we were very close to Sacramento toward the end of the march. And uh, we brought Governor Brown, Augie, accompanied by, uh, that's Earl Franklin to his right. He's an African-American, uh, Native American actor, actually a farm worker, but he was a really an itinerant worker. He had been a cowboy, he had been a cook, uh, a bit of a poet. I mean, he, he was getting multi-skilled and um, he, he, because he was so tall, he ended up usually playing the grower or, or uh, the cop, you know, in, in our pieces. He couldn't speak Spanish, but he could swear in Spanish. <laughs> you know, he, he picked up a lot of words from the teatro, which he loved, but he, he had a sense of humor, but he also very stately, very serious. He could command the stage uh, just because of his stature. So uh, I appreciated having uh, him in the company because he was African-American one, but two, because he was, uh, he was such a tall, unusual actor. And it, the sign that he's covering with his hand says Zaninovich, which is uh, the literally the name of one of the growers, Zaninovich. You know, we used to have fun with that one. You know, uh, in Spanish we'd call him Son of a Bitchy, You know, which is another way to say Son of a Bitch. You know. Anyway, <laughs> so Zaninovich and Son of a Bitchy. Uh, a, a son of Avicii accompanied Governor Brown and so did DeGorgio, that's me. We escorted him uh, together with the Delano record and Bank of America up to the stage. But in Thornton, we were outdoors. So we brought Governor Brown in a car with a siren. We, we drove through the crowd. The crowd had to open up and we drove up to the flatbed truck, pulled him out and put him up on the, on the flatbed truck and played this whole thing out. This was indoors, so it was obviously the next night or the night after. But, uh, you know, some of the actors had to do with transformations. Um, that's the magical turning point. Mm -hmm. And Governor Brown in this acto attempts to speak Spanish. And the, the more he attempts to speak Spanish, the better he gets. And he gets so good that he turns into a Mexican, you know? <laughs> that, was, that was kind of the ruse. So then... Zaninovich and DiGiorgio and the Bank of America, everybody has to get him off the stage. So then he's fighting them and he's supporting Cesar. And it was all a, a big send up of Governor Brown who never showed up, you know, but uh, his son did, Jerry Brown, <laughs> quite the contrary, became the Governor Brown we needed. And Felipe Cantu's Bank of America couldn't speak English, but he, he had learned a line from a previous actor when he played Winter and, and that's all he needed to say. He had his hand out saying, give me money, give me money. <laughs> so while we're doing all this, he's going around and around saying, give me money, give me money. And that's Bank of America, you know? <laughs> so it was, it was raucous, it was funny, it was to the point, and, and we had a lot of fun doing it. 